During most of the movies and the regular seasons of the anime, there are quite a few characters that end up leaving us. While some never return to the show, others revive to continue pushing the plot of the story, teaching us that we should never give up, no matter what happens, even death. With the countless times that Ash has taught us this lesson, I thought it'd be fun if we took a look at just how many times the writers decided, yeah, yeah, I'm down for that. Today we'll be listing off every time someone takes the plunge. We'll be leaving out Sun and Moon though, as it is still ongoing, and I don't want to spoil it for others. So without further ado, I welcome you all to every death in the Pokemon anime. During the Tower of Terror, Ash and Pikachu don't stand a ghost of a chance against a chandelier and some spooky soul-snatching specters. They are later brought back to life by the ghosts after a playdate and a little trauma for their friends. During the Pokemon movie, Mewtwo strikes back, escaping from the lab and destroying it along with Dr. Fuji. Further into that movie, Ash finally becomes a solid trainer, as he is turned to stone but shortly revived thereafter to his normal state. Entei sacrifices himself for Molly as he disappears after defeating the unknown. Latios becomes a Pokemon hero as he also sacrifices himself to become the new soul dude, protecting the town and his sister Latios. The evil false Groudon in Jirachi Wishmaker has a meltdown and is completely destroyed by Jirachi's doom desire. The numbers go way up as Jesse, James, Brock, Max, May, Kid Summers, and Ash are all swallowed up by Jello in the Tree of Beginning during Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, only to be revived after Mew gets annoyed by crying Pokemon. The Tree of Beginning continues its rampage as Lucario uses up all of its aura to sacrifice himself to the tree, reuniting in the afterlife with his fallen master Sir Aaron, who also sacrificed himself. In Master of the Mirage Pokemon, the Mirage Mewtwo and Mew are both shown to have a sad ending as they are permanently defeated by Ash and Pikachu. The creator of the Mirage Pokemon, Dr. Young, is never to be seen from again as he runs back into his crumbling castle. It is not confirmed whether he died or not, so we won't add one to the counter, but it's worth mentioning. In the Rise of Darkrai, Darkrai falls as it sacrifices itself to protect another town during its battle with Palkia and Dialga. Darkrai was later revived and shown to be watching over the town it protected. We head back to the regular series as Hunter J's ship was struck down by a future site in Diamond and Pearl, sinking it into Lake Valor, causing it to explode. This is another one that isn't confirmed, but at least one of these two has to be on it. Look, the counter went up. It agrees with me. It's not like I can just edit it. They weren't lying when they said Cocoon of Destruction, because in the 17th movie, everyone turns to stone. It happens so often in the movie that they don't even look sad. They just sound mildly disappointed. Argus, Millis, Their Hone Edge, Dewblade, Aegislash, and Chestnut, Marilyn, Her Delphox, and Yanmega, Riot, His Greninja, and Two Ninjas, even the Team Rocket Trio, and three of the Carbink servants to Diancie are all turned to stone. Every single one of them. All of them, however, are revived once Xerneas rejuvenates the land. Pikachu also turns to stone, but deserves his own spot because he's Pikachu. He is also revived by Xerneas, showing Ash just how Pikachu felt when Ash did that to him in the first movie. The loyal gym-leading robot to Clement, Clembot, is destroyed, sacrificing itself to destroy the machine controlling Z2 during Pokemon XYZ. It was later rebuilt, losing all of its memories and having to start anew. Lysander is defeated by Zygarde 100% as he is attacked by Zygarde's core enforcer, never to be seen again. He yells that it's not over yet, but you're being warped into another dimension. You're probably wrong. This brings an end to the main antagonist of Kalos. In the finale of Pokemon XYZ, any hopes and dreams of Ash winning the Pokemon League dies. Okay, just kidding. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this list. Special thanks to everyone who helped me with this video, and please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to get yourself a t-shirt and let me know if you do. Thanks again, and I hope you had a lot of fun here. Until next time, keep on catching!